President Bola Tinubu has signed four executive orders into law to curb arbitrary, arbitrary taxation policy in the country. One of the orders signed is a suspension of the 5% excise tax on telecommunication services, as well as the excise duties escalation on locally manufactured products. Special Advisor, Special Duties, Communication and Strategy to the President, Delia Alake, announced this to State House correspondents at the Villa. Other executive orders signed into law by the President includes the Finance Act Effective Date Variation Order 2023. Also on the list is the executive order involving the Customs Excise Tariff Variation Amendment Order, Shift 2023, shifting the commencement date of the tax changes from 27th March to 1st August, and also in line with the national tax policy. Excellency President Bola Ahmed Tinubu promised to address business on friendly fiscal policy measures and multiplicity of taxes. Consequently, President Bola Tinubu, in fidelity to the pledge to put Nigerians at the center of government policies, has signed the following executive orders. Executive Order 1, the Finance Act, Effective Date Variation Order 2023, has now deferred the commencement date of the changes contained in the Act from May 28, 2023, to September 1, 2023. This is to ensure adherence to the 90 days minimum advance notice for tax changes as contained in the 2017 national tax policy. Mr. President, you actually want to simplify and make it friendly to business, the way we operate taxes in Nigeria. And as we know that the, when you talk about the revenue uh, management, it's not only in tax uh, collection. The starting point is our economic policy because our aim is not to tax poverty. Our aim is not to tax production. Our aim is to increase our productive activity, capacity to produce. Then we can tax our consumption. And that is the direction of our economic planning. And then we want to increase the trust that we have in the government. And for, if you observe what has happened in the last few days, the last few months that we've been here, we've kept to our word part of what we are doing today just to increase this trust that we are here to do what is the best for the country. The president and this administration is very sensitive to the plight of the Nigerians and like in, he's already promised, we will ensure that the suffering is reduced and also ensure that businesses operate in a more friendly environment where we manage taxes in a way that it is also very business friendly. In addition to, of course, we are here looking for increased revenue but it should not be at the expense of the average Nigerian. Any cost that, that, that has been passed over to the consumers will also be suspended, and this will be enforced through the consumer protection agencies of the, of the government. We do know that um, ultimately, as, as all my colleagues have said, the ultimate gain is to alleviate the plight of Nigerians, and we will ensure that this is done through the appropriate agencies of government.